The example I'm going to do is question two, because it's quite interesting to chat about this one. <laughs> the question says, when a forcing function f equals f naught sine omega t acts on the mass, the general solution for the response of a single degree of freedom mass spring system is given by this, x equals a1 cosine omega t plus a2 sine omega t. That's omega naught t plus f naught divided by k minus m omega, squ uh, omega squared sine of omega t. Okay? My omega naught are obviously the natural frequency of the system. They're defined by the mass and the spring stiffness. Okay? And obviously omega is what I'm choosing to give to the system. This is omega squared. If you can't read it, apologies about that. Let me zoom in a bit. Now what? Part 1 says find the solution formula in your case where the mass is initially at rest and zero position. Okay, so basically it's um, apply initial rest conditions. We did that in the notes, I'm not going to do that here. Okay, but you end up with the solution. And this is also in your formula sheet. I've said in the, in the thing, show your workings. So if in the exam you got this question, you may get it, you never know. Um, it's in the notes. Obviously, to show your workings, if, I, if you just wrote the solution, I wouldn't give you any marks, because obviously the marks are in, in the workings. You might get one mark. But, um, but in this case, I'm going to skip it, because it's in the notes. You can follow it in the notes if you're unsure. But the solution is on the last page of your tutorial sheet, and you end up getting F0 upon K minus M omega squared. And then you end up with sine omega t minus omega m times omega naught sine omega naught t this is what this is that this is a, um, the thing about beating like i said if these two things are very close together you end up with these cancelling each out or reinforcing each other okay so there's our equation <laughs> and like i said part a you can do yourself but we're going to do part B. Referring to your solution that you found, okay, the expression you've retained in A, go on to discuss the forms of response for, so this is I, A, B, I, what happens when omega is much, much bigger than omega naught? Well, if omega is much, much bigger to omega naught, what happens to this value? with respect to 1. Is it much, much bigger than 1 or much, much less than 1? If this is true. If omega is much, much bigger than omega naught, what happens to that value? It's much bigger than 1, yeah? Okay. So obviously you're, you're, you've got an amplitude here, you've got this value, which is much bigger than 1, and you've got a sinusoid. So you end up with a big sinusoid in omega naught frequency, and a small ripple on that sinusoid in omega t, sorry, of your omega, which is the driving frequency. Okay, so your thing will oscillate um, with omega naught, and a small ripple on that oscillation in omega frequency. With i, i, part two, when omega is much, much smaller than omega naught, what happens to this value? If, if that's true, what happens to this value with respect to 1? It's going to be small, isn't it? Yeah? If this, if this value is a lot smaller than this value, then this becomes a fraction of 1. Okay, so it's going to be smaller than this one, which is 1. And so you end up with a dominant frequency, a dominant sinusoid in this frequency, omega, which is the driving frequency, and a small ripple in your um, natural frequency. I, I, I. We've discussed this already. So here we've got oops. If this if this term here is one, and this term here is two.
Omega. Okay, what happens in this case? We've just covered it. Sorry? Eating, yeah. Sometimes reinforces, sometimes cancels. Okay. Okay, the period, beat period is 2 pi divided by the difference in the frequencies. And then IV, <coughs> when they equal each other, what happens? Sorry? Well, you hit resonance, yeah, but that solution doesn't apply. Because what happens to k upon m omega? Okay, well, that means that omega here is root k upon m. Okay, so omega squared is k upon m. The m's will cancel, you end up with k minus k in the solution. And in the denominator, and obviously that doesn't, that doesn't work. This thing will go to infinity, which is more necessarily happens. Well, this is what happens when you've got an undamped system. Um, and so, solution not valid. <coughs>